All right, so I'm Jeff Fry, a Principal Business Development Engineer here at Cloudbees. Uh, thank you for attending this session today. It's going to be at Jenkins and AWS for small teams and uh, enterprises. So in this session, what I'll do is I'll give an intro of Cloudbees. Um, we'll talk a lot about Jenkins. Uh, we'll talk about traditional Jenkins deployments, Jenkins on Kubernetes, as well as talk about small team and enterprise solutions using Jenkins. Uh, so yeah, CloudBeast is a continuous integration and continuous delivery software company. We provide software that allows your developers to write their code, uh, build their code, test it, and also deliver it to different environments like a production environment. The most popular solutions that we have are Jenkins-based. We are the main backer of open source Jenkins. Uh, KK Kusuke, who's the founder of open source Jenkins, is a chief architect at CloudBeast. 80% of the commits to open source Jenkins are by CloudBees engineers. So why is Jenkins so popular? It's been around for about 10 years. It has a huge uh, community and large ecosystem. There's over 1,400 plugins. Uh, so if you want to uh, pull code from Git, uh, do builds with Maven, uh, do testing, say, with JUnit, and release them deployed to AWS, Jenkins pretty much has you covered. So CloudBees supports the open source community, but in addition to that, we provide enterprise solutions on top of that. One of those enterprise solutions I'll talk a little bit more about later is something called CloudBees Core that helps you manage a large deployment of Jenkins. Uh, we also provide a free version of Jenkins with our own additional features called CloudBees Jenkins Distribution. And we also provide an analytics platform for your Jenkins deployment. So let's talk about how you traditionally deploy Jenkins. The way Jenkins architecture works is you have a Jenkins master and you have several Jenkins agents. These agents are responsible for executing uh, your pipeline tasks. These tasks could be doing anything from building, doing testing, uh, building Docker containers or images. In a traditional deployment, you may have a Jenkins master on a physical server and then you have a, have a bunch of agent servers as well. The problem with this deployment is if they're physical servers, you have to manage these yourselves. So if you want to scale out, you may have to add another server. You have to handle all the networking with that. Now, if we move to the cloud, this evolves to take away some of that infrastructure management. So in this case here, you'll have uh, Jenkins running as a VM, and you have Jenkins agents running as some additional VMs as well. Now, you don't have to worry about the physical. In some cases, you don't have to worry about the operating system. You don't have to worry about networking. But there's still a problem with this, is that these VMs are still very much heavyweight. Uh, when you're executing your pipeline, you need to access this agent VM. It could take a few minutes to spin it up, if you're spinning it up for the first time. Um, also as well, these VMs are consuming infrastructure resources. So they're consuming CPUs and RAMs. And this could be costly if you're executing just a small task, but you're using this large VM. So the answer to this is moving to Kubernetes. Kubernetes allows you to use these lightweight agent containers. So you're still using these containers to execute your pipeline tasks, but not using this huge heavyweight VM. These containers are still reusable. You can control what are in these containers because there's really just Docker images with your own tooling. These, these containers spin up very quickly in just a few seconds. They'll execute a task like a build, and they'll spin down and go away and release those infrastructure resources. They're ephemeral. Like I just said, they're efficient use of your infrastructure. And if you're already doing cloud native and doing microservices, uh, then it just makes sense to go ahead and use uh, Kubernetes for your uh, CI CD process as well. So the quick demo I'm going to show you in a bit, I'm going to use our enterprise product called CloudBeast Jenkins Distribution. This is a free product that's available in the AWS Marketplace. It's built on top of open source Jenkins, but we have included some additional features for one thing, we help with the easy setup. Uh, through AWS Marketplace, you can have CloudBeast Jenkins distribution up and running as a single master in just a few minutes. Uh, we help with the stability of Jenkins. Uh, we include some very stable plugins. Uh, they're secure. Uh, we also provide some features that will advise you on the configuration of that Jenkins. And we also assist you with smooth upgrades, whether they're the server, Jenkins master server upgrade, or plugins as well. To go a little bit deeper into some of these features, uh, within the CloudBeast Jenkins distribution, we provide something called CloudBeast Jenkins Advisor. And so what this tool, it would advise you on any sort of security vulnerabilities, 
advise you if there's any plugins or if the software itself is out of date and notify you of what you need to do and advise you on that process. Also included is the CloudBees Assurance Program. Like I mentioned earlier, there's over 1,400 of these plugins. We test a few hundred of the most popular plugins continuously. And then you are able to pick these plugins from a plugin catalog and we'll notify you if there's any security vulnerabilities or if there's any bugs and advise you on the path forward and how to upgrade those. And then lastly, we include our Beekeeper Upgrade Assistant. This will assist you in the upgrade of the Jenkins Master itself as well as any of the plugins. So now let's dive into Kubernetes. So what, the way we're going to do this with CloudBees Jenkins Distribution or Open Source Jenkins is we're going to use the Kubernetes plugin. What the two Kubernetes plugin allows your Jenkins master to do is connect to the, uh, the Kubernetes cluster, be able to spin up those tooling containers to execute your pipeline tasks. And then this plugin itself is also easily installable from the plugin catalog. It's also part of the CloudBees Assurance Program. To configure, it's pretty simple. You create a Kubernetes cloud, and then you point uh, your Jenkins master to the Kubernetes API server as well as the authentication credentials. And this is how the Kubernetes plug is able to uh, operate and spin up these containers via a pod template that I'll show you a little bit later. And here's that pod template. So within your repo with all your code, you can have this pod template. This defines the agent containers that you're going to use to execute your pipeline tasks. So in this example here, we see we have a container for Maven. Uh, we could use that for a Maven build. We have a kubectl container. We can use that for a different task. Um, we also have a Docker container here, so we could use that for a Docker build or a Docker push. The agent container itself is just a Docker image. So you can, in this example here, we're using this to create a Maven container. Uh, so again, it's just a simple Docker image. You can host it in your own container registry or any of the popular ones, Docker Hub or even an ECR. And then finally, the thing that ties us all together is the Jenkins pipeline, which is defined in the Jenkins file. Uh, so what we've done, defined here is the agent itself, and then we're referencing that pod template that has all the containers that we're going to use. Then in each stage, we're going to call out the container that we're going to use. So in, the, in this example, uh, the first stage, we have a Maven build or Maven install stage, and we're going to call on that uh, Maven container to handle that. And then the last stage you see here, we're going to do a Docker build using the Docker container. So we're going to do a quick demo. Uh, we have CloudBees Jenkins distribution running on EKS. We're going to use the standard pet clinic. Uh, and so in this demo, what we're going to do is we're going to do a Maven build, a Docker build, and then we're going to push it to Docker Hub. So let me jump over and switch over to the demo laptop. OK, so what we're looking at here is the user interface, the CloudBees Jenkins distribution. Uh, like I said, this is running on EKS. And so I've already added my repo and pipeline. It's sitting right here. Let's take a quick review and take a look at my repo. So in this repo, uh, I have a source directory that has the pet clinic Java source code in here. I have the pod template that I had described earlier. This one has a few more uh, containers. So we have the Maven container here. We have the uh, Docker container. And if we go back, this is again all tied together by the Jenkins file. And this defines our pipeline. So we have the Kubernetes agent defined here, the pod template, which I just showed you. And then we have three stages here. We have a Maven stage, a Docker build stage, and a Docker push. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back over here. I'm going to go ahead and execute this pipeline, which will go ahead and execute uh, that Jenkins file and also pull down all that source code. So I'm going to execute it manually, but typically your, your developer would go ahead and do a commit or process the PR, and this, this would execute automatically. Now as I execute that, I'll go ahead and click on this and take a look at this run. So we can see the overall view of our pipeline as it's executing. Uh, so the first thing that happened here is it, it took that pod template and created those containers to use as part of the pipeline. What I'll do is I'll come back over to my terminal, and we'll take a look at 
the pods that are running. So right now I have a few Cloudy Jenkins distribution pods that are running to support the uh, Jenkins master. But what you see here, the last one here is this Docker build pod. Uh, and this is our pod template that was created uh, earlier. So let's take a look at it. Put this down. I ran a kubectl describe pod on that. And what you'll see here is the first container we see is this JNLP container. This is added automatically. This is the Jenkins agent, and it handles the communication to the Jenkins master. The next container we see is the Docker container that we defined in our pod template. And then we have the Maven container. Now, if we jump back to our CloudBees Jenkins distribution, you see the pipeline executed. So there was a Maven build. It did the Docker build, and then did the Docker push using that pod, using that containers, did it in just a, just a little over a minute. If I jump back over to Docker Hub, so it was being pushed to Docker Hub to a refresh, and we see that new image was just pushed up. So let me switch back to the slides. Now, just to summarize what we just did there, so we have the pipeline again. Uh, we execute the pipeline. That pipeline created this Jenkins agent pod that had the two containers that were used to execute the pipeline tasks. And this is all running on Kubernetes, all running on, e running on EKS. So just to kind of show you how we've defined this, we have our GitHub repo that had our source code in it. The Jenkins file itself was the pipeline that was contained in the repo. And then the pod template was basically the infrastructure for a pipeline that sets up the agent pod, again, running on Kubernetes and uh, Amazon EKS. Now, that was just CloudBeast Jenkins distribution, which was a single Jenkins master. But if you're a large organization, you have more teams, you have multiple projects, may be interested in our enterprise product called CloudBees Core. And this helps you with the management of a large deployment of Jenkins masters. So you have something in our product called Operation Center that will help you control those Jenkins masters, provide a single point for uh, governance and compliance. You can, you're able to handle like role-based access control for all your teams for all, across all the Jenkins masters. Uh, you're able to manage all the plugins across your Jenkins master. Um, and it provides full visibility, providing you analytics uh, for all those Jenkins masters as well. We also we provide CloudBees Core as an AWS quick start. Uh, so it provides multiple availability zones, and it also uses EKS to those that are spot instances as well. And this will save you additional money. CloudBees Jenkins distribution is available in the AWS marketplace. Again, it's free. And then CloudBees Core is available as an AWS Quick Start. And that just finishes up my presentation. Um, you have additional questions. Uh, we're at booth 912. And stop by, and you can get some free swag, shirts, and stickers. Um, any questions from the audience? And if you have any questions, I will happily bring you the microphone so everybody can hear. If you just raise your hand for me. Anybody? Questions? Going once, going twice. We do have a raffle to do, too, I think, right? Oh, yeah, that's right. Is, is it Ashley? Where's Ashley? Or I can help you out if you want to. Uh, she has the ticket. There she is, the one and only oh. Ashley. No, no worries. You're good. As one does at these conferences, you got to chat. Exactly. Right. OK, so here we go. So the winner of the Amazon Echo Dot. All right. The number, the magic number is 731106. 731, hey, we got a winner. <laughs> All right, very good. Right, so anyone else you. have any questions, anything for Jeff? All right, they are at Booth. If you would like to check out CloudBees, it's 912-912 if you want to check them out. And thank you, Jeff, very much.